welcome back to another video on my channel, Logan Speed Shop. Today, a little bit different, got a bit of a collab going. Last weekend, I was invited over to a bit of a YouTuber meet, even though I'm just a small fry, uh, by a bloke named Tristan. He has a channel, Turbo Tristan, and I'll put a link in it below. But yeah, today we're going back over to his place, back to his factory, and going to help him out with one of his cars show you a bit of a walk around and we'll show you what we're up to very soon so here with Tristan now just arrived at his workshop so there he is hey everyone so we had a bit of a play around we've already ripped the loom out of the Civic so we've got it sitting down here everything's labeled ready to go we'll get into that later on in this video anyway showing what I'll be doing on that I won't dwell on it too much I'll focus more on the actual car now that way Tristan can talk us through what's going on because to me this is a pretty crazy setup not something you see too often well, not too often in Australia. These are pretty common um, overseas in America and all over the, the rest of the world. They love Hondas, not so much in Australia. Me, just like Logan, I'm a Nissan boy at heart, but I don't have that kind of cash. So I've dived into the Honda world. That's what my channel is mainly based on is Honda stuff. But this is a K24 2.4 litre four cylinder out of an Accord Euro, which I've changed the VCT gear, the oil pump to be type R parts so it can rev harder, all that sort of stuff and have more tunability with the VTEC cam. I've added a turbo, that'll see about 10 PSI and should make around about 300 kilowatts if we're lucky. Um, manifold, I'm having a crack at fabricating the exhaust myself. Looks like it's coming up pretty good so far. Yeah. Can't fault that. Definitely on par, if not better than most my uh, stainless welds. So, oh, still learning, but thank you for that. I, I do try. It's um, it's a steep learning curve when you're just trying to save money and do things yourself. Hundred percent. It's still cheaper to do it twice than pay someone else to do it, though. Exactly. I've uh, gone and seen the boys at RaceWorks and got every single possible thing I can from RaceWorks, including the intercooler piping, uh, the radiator piping. I had to make myself. Everything here is all custom made, the lines, the breathers, Raceworks fuel reg, Raceworks uh, 1140, 1150cc injectors. This will be on full E85. Um, I had to make power steering lines as well, which is also from Raceworks. And yeah, yeah, it, all looks just... like, it looks at home. Like apart from the mounts being shiny billet, you'd think it was standard and it was meant to be in there really. Like yeah, it, well, these are Hasport mounts, they had to come from the States, there was like a six or seven month wait on those. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? You probably bought in the middle of COVID when everything was delayed. I sure did. Luckily, uh, one of my subscribers actually works here and he managed to hook me up so I didn't have to wait like a year for him. It's pretty crazy. It, I mean, hey, you're getting there, your channel's growing. Hopefully yep. everyone that watches mine, not that it's a big amount, will go over and follow you as well. Get involved. Yeah, that'd be good if we can all cross collab and do stuff together. I've definitely got a few builds and I need your expertise with quite a few things. So we can definitely work together. You might be seeing a lot more of us on each other's channel, hopefully. Well, I dare say so. It's a shame he's this far away on the other side of the town, but hey, every couple of weeks, we'll probably end up over here, I reckon, at the way we're going. So more than welcome mate yeah. bring it over if you need a hoist i know a guy's got one you can yep. use right here nice uh rain hail or shine we can be out here and pump well, it away in the well garage. funny you say that my car's still never been on a hoist no the whole time i've owned it yeah next well. time you come around we'll just chuck it up on the hoist and we can have a look underneath all your handiwork yep. show it off show off all the stuff that doesn't get to see mate that's the the best stuff is usually the stuff you can't see yep just like the fancy clutches you put a gearbox over top of straight away. Oh, I know. <laughs> I spent a thousand bucks on a clutch for yep. this and you never see yep. it. Yep, it's hidden away in there somewhere, but... Yep, it's there, trust me. Uh, it definitely looks like it's got some goodies in there. Should be fun. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, there's a full build series on this from when I got it. Painted it with a rattle can and two pack just to learn. Is that the full body or just the engine the bay? entire car. Brilliant. Uh, and you wouldn't pick it. Yeah, like, it just looks like it's 20 year old Civic paint. Well, yeah, exactly. I haven't looked after it. <laughs> but it adds to it too. Like my car, it's got to a point where it's tidy and I don't want to take it out. At least you take this out, you park it anywhere, you'll love it. Yeah, I don't really care about the paint on the outside <laughs> yet. I'll probably wrap yeah. it one day. But yeah. Um, yeah, D series build, forged build, and then onto the, the K series. I skipped B series because there was no point 
they're an expensive engine now too. Yeah. For basically, when you can buy a K series for half the price, and, and you get, get a much better, uh, I'm not going to say much better motor because I love the sound of a B series. Oh, who doesn't? Yeah. But yeah, this should be real fun at the end of it. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, we're going to work away, get the wiring nice. Shouldn't be too much exposed. We'll have the injectors exposed. That'll be about it. So we'll make them nice. A couple of plugs hidden away there. But yeah, it'll be a cover on the top so we won't see the coil packs. And this will be running a Haltech 1500 like everything else pretty much is now. Haltech the world. But yeah, it'll be good. Yep, definitely Haltech the world. Can't stress that enough. Best DCUs and they're Aussie, so. Exactly. Gotta use them. And just like that, the loom is done. Sorry, there was no action shots of doing it. It was a bit frustrating. Just working one wire at a time, tracing it all out. We've got a bit of braid just on the visible bits for the injectors and the water. Uh, everything else has been done. We've got oil pressure has been put there. We've got the intake tamps. We've got some fans wired in. A couple of other things labeled up as I'm not 100%. And get down to the important side. We got power, we got earth, all it needs to run, and we got some Heltec plugs. Connect that to the fuel pump, connect that to the ignition, can to the dash, a couple of fuses, a couple of relays. Want it to be safe. Don't want this bloody thing melting anywhere. And it's just got the alternator harnesses just left as it was at the moment as I'm not 100% sure about being in front of the car how we're going to change that or if we're going to need to change that one wire we're definitely going to have to hook up is this one the bloody starter trigger so that'll just go off the key find where the factory one runs to and then just connect into there put a plug probably change that plug to one I've actually got both ends of but that's easy enough next clips you'll start to see us chucking it into the EK Civic and hopefully even get it running today Alrighty, here at Tristan's car, I've chucked the loom in. I've actually had it running since, but yeah, everything's in there. He's got a bit of cable management to go. It can't be happier, it starts. You can see the injectors, we've got a nice braid up top. Everything else, basically because it's too hard. We've got tape over top of it, but it will be pretty hidden. You can't see bugger all, apart from jumper cables as earths at the moment until he gets on the hoist and puts them in. But he's a happy man. Very, very happy, he's done a top job. This guy can wire. But yeah, it's a bit of cable management, but yeah, the turbo Honda lives. We'll kick it on now. You can see Tristan's got his camera out for the startup as well. But yeah, we've got, again, Powertune Digital Dash in this bugger. It's running really rich at the moment, so I won't keep it running for too long. You can see the Haltech chilling over there. We've got the fuse box, the factory fuse box. Again, a little bit of cable management, won't take much. And it'll be away laughing now. Can't be happier about how this has all come out. Nice simple job, a few hours today, and it's all together. Well, I'm glad to have that one out of the way. It was a fun little build, doing a loom for that. Figure I'd better close this video off by saying that if anyone does want a loom done by me or want some wiring work, hit me up through my Instagram or hit, put a comment below. I'll be able to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bloody subscribe to it. Let's build these views up. Something a little bit different I wanted to finish this video off. Gonna do a bit of a giveaway. Celebrate my birthday for the month of October. Gonna give away a billet oil filter. So this is to suit a M20 by 1.5 thread. So that'd be likes of Z436 or similar. Same as I run on my Sylvia. Nice gift from Raceworks to give away to some lucky bugger. So you can pull this right apart, reusable. So you got this thing here goes in the bottom, locks in there, this bit on the top, a couple of tools, boom, pull apart, pull out the element, give it a clean out, see what the smart's in there, and then put it back together, you've got yourself your oil filter back again, nice easy, uh, bloody top to undo, and yeah, oil filter. All you got to do to win this over the next few videos, I want you guys to tell me your best oil filter stories. I don't care if they're real, I'm not fact checking them. If you have to, make up a story. Best story wins, or the story I like most wins, or something along those lines. I'll choose one at random, and yeah, I will contact you and give you away this filter. Nice little giveaway.